How is the look and feel of Minecraft Legends different to original Minecraft? Everything is very saturated, everything is very tasty. Taking the variety of flora you would find in original Minecraft and just turning it up to 11. Once we realized that we had the creative ability to put in unique animations, it kind of just blew open the whole thing. Visual development, narrative development, we pushed a lot of envelopes and you will be delighted by the love and the heart that went into creating this game. Was that an itch? Come on. Sorry, what was I saying? We wanted Minecraft Legends to feel alive, so we drew a lot of inspiration from the real world. Things like, as you walk through the environment, there's like birds that fly out of the trees, gusts of wind that happen every now and again. That added a, a really nice complexity that made it seem like, you know, you weren't just in this very stale environment, you were part of something that was living. We have a bunch of animals in the world and it's all keyframed as opposed to procedural, which is how they approached it for Minecraft Original. That gave us the ability to have variations of idols and walks to make them feel more alive. We had to find the compromise between procedural and hand painted. So we had to hand paint all the mountains in ZBrush, then work on it in Substance Designer, then work on them again in Photoshop because it's pixel art. So it was a very hard process, but in the end the mountains are just beautiful. So on one hand, we had to come up with an art direction that is more grounded. On the other hand, because it's idyllic, because it looks like a fairy tale a little bit, we had to heighten the reality of the game on the other side. Because we knew we were going to be introducing quite a bit of conflict in the form of a, a new enemy that people have never been introduced to before. So the first thing that you see about Biglands is that they have a lot of netherrack. It's like this red spot in the middle of beautiful, idyllic world. Even if you defeat them, scars are still there. They never go away. We try to give them very dynamic and contrasting personalities in terms of color. The Piglins have a lot of gold trim, angry red, flames. Stinky, green. We wanted to support Piglin personality with their biomes. We were working on it before the Nether update had really come out. We were simultaneously getting some screenshots from Mojang as they were developing the Nether update. And so we were kind of developing Piglins in tandem. Anytime we introduce something into the game, you're looking at it from a very critical eye most of the time, and then where you know it works is when you're taken out of that and you're just enjoying the game for what it is, for what you've created. The light changes as the day cycle changes within the game. You see the sunset and there's rain which interacts with the water and some of it is quite cinematic. There were very often where we'd have play tests with the team and we would go on about how Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Every tree was made by our hands. It's not just placed randomly. It all has a pattern, it makes sense. You can almost feel the world. We have been developing this game in hard mode. <laughs> Every aspect of this production has been very challenging. And the fact that we have a breathing game with heart in it at the end of it, I'm so excited to show you this game.